Hi, my name is Drachnus. You may know me from my YouTube videos or from my work with DigiDub, Digimon Abridged. What you probably don't know is that I really do have a passion for helping people and that I'm an undergraduate student. In one of my classes right now, we're actually studying the effects of the March 11th, 2011 tsunami in Japan. That was three years ago today. As with many classes, we were given the chance to do a project that expressed our passion for whatever in the coursework really interested us. I chose to help out and raise funds for the Nozomi project in Japan. Nozomi means hope in Japanese, and the Nozomi project aims to bring hope to the people of Ishinomaki. Ishinomaki is a town in Japan that was completely devastated by the tsunami three years ago. And like we've seen with so many disasters in recent years, it takes a long time to fully recover from a disaster like this. So long, in fact, that a lot of people tend to just forget that aid is still needed. However, I can't tell you enough about the Nozomi project on my own. What I'd rather do is have them tell you. And so please take a look at this video clip from Asian Access featuring Nozomi project founder Sue Takamoto. Ishinomaki is a city of about 130,000 people and what made Ishinomaki stand out on the news after the tsunami compared to a lot of the other cities that were also hit was how bad the damage was here. 50% of the city was hit by the tsunami and that's a huge number of people who have gone through amazing loss. Even those whose homes were okay, almost everybody we meet has lost a loved one. And so the loss surrounding us is, is incredibly huge. Homes have been rebuilt, workplaces have been rebuilt, but people's lives are still in limbo. And people are still trying to figure out how do we help our children find hope? How do we figure out our children's future? God has called our B1 community to start a social enterprise that's called the Nozomi Project. We have our volunteers pick up shards of broken pottery that litters the streets of Ishinomaki, shards that were left after the tsunami. And those are all collected and washed. And then our Nozomi women take the shards and using grinders, they grind down the shards to make them look like nice pieces, make them smooth. And then we have women who have learned how to make necklaces and bracelets and earrings out of the broken shards. We have 16 women right now who are working. They didn't know how to work with their hands. And through working here, they've become really good at making jewelry, at necklaces like this. These women come four days a week while their children are at school. It's a safe environment where they can share about their struggles but where they can also find real employment and can learn new skills. We sell those shards on the internet, at bazaars, at churches in Tokyo. We have people from Singapore and Italy and Guam now trying to sell our products. Our desire is for this work to bring employment and hope and dignity to women in Ishinomaki. Every single woman who's working there lost either their home or a nuclear family member or both. We had women coming to volunteer and help us get started, and we needed a name. And one of the women working with us, she said, Sue, I don't care what you name it, but it needs to have the word hope in it, because for the first time since the tsunami, I have hope. We named it the Nozomi Project because Nozomi is the Japanese word for hope. And Asian Access built the house, which is now housing the Nozomi Project. And it's the Hope House, because we see God transforming people's lives. More importantly, or at least as importantly, is our vision for providing community, and it being a Christian community. We pray with women when their children are sick, or when they are, they are really stuck, or where they're distressed. And they'll come to us now and say, would you please pray for me? because my husband lost his job. They're experiencing what it means to have Jesus break into their lives and into their community. One of our Nozomi staff, who we call Matsuri Yuko, was baptized in the ocean 
and it's a really big deal for Yuko to get baptized in the ocean because it was that ocean that took her mom and her sister. But she said, I want to have it there. I want it to be a witness to the community of what God has done in my life. I think one thing we found is that they're my community. As much as we wanted to be their community, they've become my community. I can't tell you how many times one of my mom friends has said, but Sue, when are you leaving? When are you leaving? Because so many groups have come and gone now, and people think it's over and it's okay. And what we're seeing is that right now is the time where our presence is most needed, where people know we're here and they can depend on us. We just say we're here. We're here for as long as God has it. Now, all funds donated to the Nozomi Project go to the women who work for it or for the continuation of the project. This project specifically will help fund an outdoor play area on the site of the Nozomi Project in Ishinomaki. Three years later, there's still no place for children to play. Children are important. Obviously, one of the huge needs that are noticed throughout the region left devastated by the tsunami is care for children. Providing places to play is providing healing and hope to the community. However, this project won't go almost anywhere without help. We have a few wonderful people that have already agreed to help. Digidub, Digimon Abridged, the entire cast has agreed to sign on and help out as much as they can. Trainer Jody has also agreed to help out during the campaign. The All for Geek Alliance has also agreed to sign on and give us some help. During the end of the campaign, we will also be featuring a charity live stream. We've already got three people willing to help out with that. Myself, Trainer Jody, and DK of Declarations. The links to all their YouTube channels, Twitter feeds, and Facebook pages will be in the doobly-doo. Now what can you do? Check out the li link below for the Indiegogo campaign. Please consider donating, check out the perks we offer, and share the page with everyone you know. Check out the Nozomi Project's website. They s sell all of those beautiful pieces of jewelry right there online. And of course, all proceeds go to, uh, go to the Nozomi Project. Share the Indiegogo page, the Facebook page, retweet our tweets, share the videos, like and subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And watch out this Friday for Trainer Jody's Friday feature focus about the Nozomi project and our campaign to raise funds. All those little things help out so much. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Thank you so much for every share, like, donation, purchase, whatever you do to help out the campaign. I want to thank you personally now. I'll thank you personally later as well.